Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Rachel Davison, and today my son John and I are gonna show you how to make cheesy chicken spaghetti squash. So this is gonna be a casserole. I think a chicken spaghetti is a classic Southern dish, and today we're gonna to be making it with spaghetti squash instead of spaghetti noodles. So let's get cooking. So in our frying pan here, I've got two tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna turn this on to a medium heat and let it melt. Okay, so we're gonna add our chicken. This is three boneless, skinless chicken breasts cut into about one inch cubes, and we are gonna let that cook here. And while it's frying, we're gonna chop up some bacon. I've got four strips of bacon. You can use three or four strips of bacon, and we're just gonna chop them into small pieces. And when our chicken is all cooked on the outside, we're gonna add this to our pan while the chicken finishes cooking and we're gonna cook our bacon alongside of it. Um, very cheesy. Uh, it's a nice treat. While our chicken is cooking, uh, we're just gonna prep a few of our other things. So I have here a block of cream cheese and I'm gonna add it a little bit later once the meat is cooked, but right now we're just gonna cube it so it's ready to go. Great, let's set that to the side. <laughs> so our chicken is starting to cook nicely here. Let's give it a stir to spread out the butter and also to flip it over. I'm also gonna season it just a little bit as it starts to cook here. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. let that keep cooking. So we're gonna add our chopped up bacon to this chicken so that it can cook along with it the rest of the time. Get it all nice and spread out so that it can cook. And now we're gonna let that cook until the bacon is pretty well done. The other key element to this dish is obviously spaghetti squash. You can use one very large spaghetti squash or I had two small ones. So these spaghetti squash are fully cooked. You can see they're hot. I just pulled them out of the oven. So the way I cook them is I cut the spaghetti squash in half the long way. I scooped out all the seeds and then I put them face down on this, on this baking dish and I put them in the oven for 45 minutes at 375 degrees. So you know it's done when it's soft all the way through with the fork. You see how it falls apart into spaghetti? Then you, that's perfect. So we're just gonna let it cool a little bit while our chicken cooks and it's ready to go. So the last component to this dish is some fresh basil. So I am gonna take about maybe three or four leaves of fresh basil and to chop them up, uh, I'm just gonna roll them up like this. And then I'm gonna take my knife and just chop them like that. And you can see how it falls into ribbons if you have it rolled. Or if there's anyone in your family that doesn't like a big piece of basil, like my husband, you can just chop it fine by going the other way. So we're looking for about two tablespoons of chopped of fresh basil. If you don't have fresh, you can also use dry, then use one tablespoon instead of two. All right, so our meat looks really good. If you want, you can drain off a little bit of the fat, but don't drain all of it off. Uh, there's a lot of flavor in there. Um, I know it kind of goes against nature to leave it all in, but consider this dish a treat and leave some of it in. Now, we are gonna add half a cup of whipping cream We are going to add that cream cheese and stir it in until it's fully melted. Which takes a little bit of time. You want to stay by the stove here now and, and stir because you don't want it to burn. Two tablespoons of fresh chopped basil and then I'm also going to add a little bit more salt and then some more pepper. Quite a bit of pepper. And then we're going to give that another stir so it's all incorporated. I'm gonna take my casserole dish and I am gonna take two of these small halves of spaghetti squash and layer them on the bottom. If I was using one big spaghetti squash, I'm just gonna use half. So I'm gonna fluff it with a fork like this to make it fall into spaghetti. And then we are gonna pull it out and spread it out on the bottom of our our casserole dish and you can see that the casserole dish here is greased so just spray it with cooking spray or give it a rub with some butter. One really nice thing about this recipe is that it's gluten free um, so if you have someone in your family that can't have wheat or you are having company over and you just don't know what to make 
this is a fantastic option. Okay, that's good for now. We'll save the other two uh, for a little bit later. So I'm gonna put about half of this in. Okay, and then I'm just gonna swirl it around with the spaghetti squash on the bottom. And dump in the rest of our cheesy chicken and bacon mixture. And just kind of swirl it all around to, in, to mix it all up. We're just going to add one cup of cheddar cheese on the top. This dish tastes a lot like macaroni and cheese. Which, who doesn't love macaroni and cheese? Good, okay, we're going to cover this. And we're going to put it in a hot oven, 350 degrees, for 35 minutes. So we're 25 minutes into our 35 minute bake time and I'm just going to pop the lid off and let it bake uncovered for the last 10 minutes and that way the cheese will brown up a little bit and um, it'll release some liquid. Awesome, so this looks perfect. Our cheesy chicken spaghetti is done and you're ready to serve. So that's how you make cheesy chicken spaghetti squash. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.